This is a video about enzymes. Why should we care about enzymes? Well, enzymes are really important in biology because they act as catalysts, which mean that they make things happen faster. And faster is better. Imagine if you had a choice of two cars to take to school or work each day. Which would you choose? This one or this one? I think you would choose the Lamborghini because faster is better. Well, just like that Lamborghini, enzymes make chemical reactions in the cell go faster. If we didn't have enzymes, your body wouldn't be able to digest that cheeseburger you just had for dinner last night, or produce the energy you needed to win that marathon you were in last weekend. In fact, we simply could not survive without enzymes because none of our chemical reactions in our cells would happen fast enough. So enzymes are really very important. Enzymes are proteins. And like all proteins, they are made up of amino acids. The sequence of those amino acids dictates how the enzyme will fold and what three-dimensional shape or structure it will have. And the shape or structure for an enzyme is crucial for its function because enzymes are able to speed up chemical reactions by physically interacting with the reactant or reactants of a chemical reaction. The reactant that an enzyme acts upon is called its substrate. An enzyme interacts with its substrate at a specific location called the active site of the enzyme. The shape of the active site is complementary to its substrate, like a key to a lock or a dancer's foot to her shoe. This complementarity makes an enzyme specific to its substrate, meaning the enzyme can only catalyze the reaction for its specific substrate. The interaction of the substrate and enzyme leads to the formation of an enzyme-substrate complex. When a substrate interacts with the enzyme at the active site, the shape of the active site changes slightly to accommodate the substrate due to chemical interactions between the substrate and active site. This shape change allows the substrate to fit more tightly into the active site and is referred to as the induced fit model of enzyme-substrate interaction. Since enzymes are proteins, they are sensitive to the same environmental changes that affect protein folding, such as temperature or pH. All enzymes have an optimal range of temperature and pH at which they work best. Fluctuations from the optimal range can lead to enzyme denaturation. Denaturation alters the shape of an enzyme, including its active site, which can prevent the enzyme from being able to interact with its substrate. Enzyme function can also be blocked by inhibitors. Enzyme inhibition is extremely important in health and medicine, since most medications that you can buy from a pharmacy or that are prescribed by your doctor function as inhibitors of enzymes in our bodies. Enzyme inhibition falls into two broad categories, competitive inhibition and non-competitive inhibition. Competitive inhibitors resemble the normal substrate for the enzyme and bind at the active site of the enzyme. They therefore compete with the substrate for occupancy of the active site. An example of a competitive inhibitor is a family of drugs known as statins, such as Crestor and Lipitor, that are used to lower cholesterol levels. Statins function by competitively inhibiting an enzyme in the body that is required for the synthesis of cholesterol. Non-competitive inhibitors, on the other hand, do not resemble the substrate and do not bind at the active site. They bind the enzyme at an alternate location, but the binding of a non-competitive inhibitor alters the shape of the active site, preventing the substrate from being able to bind. An example of a non-competitive inhibitor is the highly toxic poison cyanide. Cyanide is so lethal because it blocks the function of an important enzyme needed for cellular respiration. Without cellular respiration, our cells die because they cannot produce the ATP needed to carry out their normal functions. So in conclusion, enzymes are really important proteins that function by speeding up the chemical reactions in our bodies. They interact with the substrates at their active site, forming an enzyme-substrate complex. A large part of the world's pharmaceutical industry relies on the fact that enzymes can be inhibited. This inhibition falls into two broad categories, competitive inhibition, where the inhibitor competes with the substrate for binding to the active site, and non-competitive inhibition, where the inhibitor blocks enzyme function by binding at a site other than the active site.